Guinevere is the legendary wife of Arthur, the King of the Bretons. Alongside her husband, the Queen reigned over England in her utopian Camelot court. She was regarded as one of the world's most beautiful women. In the eyes of some knights of the Round Table, she was certainly the most beautiful of all. The knight's conviction was so immovable that they often challenged to a duel those who dared to say otherwise. And God will be on the side of the right one. Guinevere was the daughter of Leo de Grantz, King of the Cameliard. He was a friend and fought alongside King Uther Pendragon, Arthur's father. With Uther's death, Leo de Grantz became accountable for guarding and protecting the famous Round Table. In some versions, Guinevere met Arthur when the latter was severely wounded after his duel against the Black Knight. The princess treated Arthur's wounds and he fell in love with that figure who resembled nothing short of a goddess. King Arthur married Guinevere after saving her father's castle, which had been besieged by his enemies. Leo de Grantz handed the round table to the Breton king as a wedding gift and became one of his knights. As Arthur's wife, Guinevere was regarded as a role model woman. The queen had countless qualities. She was educated, deeply acquainted with feminine arts, like embroidery, and she was tremendously beautiful. Her beauty brought light to Camelot's court. Such beauty dazzled almost everyone around her, but a knight ended up falling in mad love with his queen. His name was Lancelot. The queen also fell in love with Lancelot, the round table's best and most loyal knight. They nourished that platonic love for many years since they loved what they could not have. They remained loyal to the king up until the very moment when their mutual passion could not be contained. The queen became romantically involved with the knight and they failed to keep that a secret. Mordred, the sneaky knight, denounced the wise infidelity before Arthur. That propelled a major crisis and a civil war which destroyed Arthur's kingdom. This crisis ended with Arthur's death, and, feeling the burden of blame, Guinevere decided to live in a convent. Lancelot still attempted to convince her to flee with him, but Guinevere was determined to live the rest of her life in the cloister. The Camelot Queen would live in that convent until her demise, without ever forgiving herself for being the cause of the ruin of Arthur's kingdom.